Hello. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Y Randomizer. Us. Not today, we are in the Azure Bay, where we will be continuing our little adventure on to see if we can find some other goodies and bits that are hidden in this area. So let's begin this for the guy who swam all the way from Hoenn. I don't believe that's possible, since Hoenn is supposed to be... Um, so Kanto, Johto and Hoenn are all supposed to be parts of Japan, like the islands of Japan. So they're all next to each other. Also, hello, Timple. Um, and Chaos is France. Imagine saying, I just swam to France from Japan. No. No, brother, you did not. Oh, hello, Reggie Rock. You're making a return. Back again, once again, for the second time. So I had a little break because um, the weird and wonderful world of AI has enthralled me. There is a new AI art generator, which is going around by Bing, you know, Microsoft's weird search engine um, that I never use. But they have a really good AI generator, although it is, um, it's really, really, really weird. Like, they've got this gigantic, like, um, ooh, it's up for that. It's got this gigantic, um, I ain't got really nothing. Oh, let's just stay in. They're like content policy. Like, you can't use it for threats and terrorism and offensive things. It finds the most tiniest things offensive. I swear to God. Like, they have overcompensated so much to try and not offend people that you, ooh, it limits what you can do. Like, all I wanted, right? I put in monkey sitting in the tree, grinning and pointing down. And it goes, flagged as offensive. I was like, what's offensive about that? So then I put ape, flagged as offensive. Gorilla, flagged as offensive. I'm like, are you trying to imply that I can't use these animals because someone may be using that to make something racist? That's the dumbest thing ever. There's, the context to it is stupid. And if you do too many of them, they ban you for an hour, and you can't you you can't make images anymore. It's madness. I tried to make like a funny one. You try and put in like certain people's names, it goes no, that's that's blocked. I was like, what? It won't let me put Asian man. Because it's like, oh, you can't define people by ethnicity. It's like, bro, I'm trying to make a picture of my friend. That's funny. How am I supposed to describe this person? And yesterday, the word desi worked, yeah? Which is like... How someone from Pakistan and India would identify their, themselves... You know, as a desi person? D-E-S-I? But it's like getting blocked today is offensive, I'm like... But you can put white in there, like, okay. <laughs> it's like, it's like so finicky and it's like I just want to make a funny picture bro I'm not trying to be offensive at all I'm just trying to be funny man um, the small east central island this one? no this is a sky battle alright let's go land here is there any hidden items here? no there's battles here but there's I'll show you some of the images in a bit it's so it's creepy if you want to make a horror movie use this image generator because it doesn't do none of that low quality nonsense they're all high quality pictures for a start and then secondly they're really good <laughs> it's so creepy um so i don't want to do mr sky battle this island no we need to think out of here oh, there's no hidden items on this island I like how this is narrow. Have you noticed how this is narrow? Pointing like... Well, to you guys go that way. Oh yeah, it would let me do like Simpsons. It would let me do... Oh no. I'm going to catch this thing. So I said like Superman at a weightlifting contest. And you see that. Look how good that is. If it focuses. Mad. This thing is mad. Uh, I just put burger smiling. It came up with that. 
this thing is actually really good. And if you want to talk about Nightmare View, sorry, I'm cleaning my screen a little bit. Um, let me just throw in Pokeball and see what happens. I put in Hyper Realistic Burger Man. I think it came up with that. And that's some creepy ass stuff. Robot Peter Griffin. <laughs> Um, one of my favourite ones just pointing shocked aliens and it came up <laughs> oh man realistic Crash Bandicoot this shit's mad oh I put Ronald McDonald smiling do you know what he came up with he has a burger for a head, my guy. He has a burger for a head. That shit is mad. I, and it doesn't always work like perfectly how you want it. I put like Yoda and Obi-Wan at a bar laughing. And it's like, it don't look like Obi-Wan and Yoda is like, you know when you see Teen Groot? Like, he's way too slim. Like, man, this guy's mad. Also, we caught this one perfect. <laughs> no, I'm not giving him nicknames. I'm never, I don't like what perfect. That's one of my reasons a thing. What else did I put in there? Ryu working at a bar. <laughs> it's mad. There's some mad things that come out of this thing. Then they're all good, of course. Rick Sanchez riding the pickle in space. I could just put these in the episode, but I can't be bothered. It's so long. What is the Eastern Island? Central Eastern Island? Is it here? Yep. Goku Mario. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Don't cost a penny. Naruto SpongeBob. Hell yeah. How good that is. That's mad. I'm not even advertising it. And it comes with creepy shit. Tomato Man. <laughs> this is creepy as hell. Um, Homer Simpson Pod Racing. In Star Wars. <laughs> So these, so these are mad. Um, realistic Sonic the Hedgehog with a ring. <laughs> it's craziness, man. Oh man, hyper realistic uh, Goomba is creepy as hell. Look at that. Oh man. Uh, it's not this island. Yeah, it's not this island. <laughs> Robot Homer. There's two. There's that one, which I like. And then there's this one, which I like as well. Look at that. Hot Dog Man. Sora with giant shoes from Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, yeah look at that. Oh, I was on this for ages, man. My friend was sending me some as well. Oh yeah, it's all about the monkey pointing. I changed. I managed to get it to work. You know how I got it to work? I make me actual monkey pointing, smiling in the tree. Change the chimpanzee. They don't have a problem with me using the word chimpanzee. This rock here. Toxic plate. <laughs> Just. Butter toast man that came up with that creepy looking butter humanoid butter toast fat Sasuke from Naruto eating a hot dog look at that and I got fat Naruto bathing in ramen that's Naruto fat Naruto with a hot dog I don't know why I kept putting hot dogs I've done burgers for a while and then I stopped doing burgers <laughs> So we need to go over here. No, I want to do yes. Yeah. I'm derail this. Fat Sasuke. <laughs> Man, I love this. Oh wait, no, I've got back out of here. No. Oh. Egg and beans, man. Look at that. Look how creepy that is. <laughs> uh, 
Operation Peanut Man. And I put, all I put in was Man Peanut, right? Human Peanut. Human Peanut Man, something like that. That was the first one. The other one's a nightmare fuel, bruv. That's number two. It's a man with no face and his beard is made of peanuts. Isn't that mad? That will haunt your dreams. Aha. Uh -huh. Poison Bob. The third one, I don't even know what this is, bro. What is that? It looks like he's made out of like a pork joint, bro. Like, what the hell? And the last one, oh, bro. How's that for a peanut man? His head looks like a flipping, it looks like a Yoshi with smooth skin head. <laughs> This thing is mad. It doesn't do people very well, though. Oh, hell yeah. It doesn't do people very well, unfortunately. Like, I put in, like, Brock Lesnar. And none of the people... It came out with, like, four people who looked nothing like Brock Lesnar. Some of them were, like... They looked, They didn't even look like anyone in general. They were just generic men. It was <laughs> just like... Okay. Right. One thing we're going to do, though, is because we got our encounter, which unfortunately was a Wabar fit. We're going to super repo again. Oh, I should have done the... Mm, you know what I'm going to say, right? I should have done the Horde Battle. Oh, my dear. Okay. Let's get this bread. Oh, she fooled me. Do I have a flying type? Sure. Yeah, good. Yeah, I'll fire you. She's like, oh, okay. Well, we can't. The only thing to go to is this little cave right here. There's an item here as well, don't worry. I don't know if we can do anything with this cave. Look, there's another arrow. Like, they're all pointing like, oh my god, go this way. Is it this one? Yep, it's this one. Apparently. There's like arrows. They literally made tons of arrows all pointing at this one cave here in the middle. There's a reason for this. I don't think we can do it right now, can we? If we can, I'm going to laugh. Oh, Sea Spirit's Den. Let me notice that the Sea Spirit's Den is kind of empty. This game, for some reason, they love Gen 1 so much in this game, I don't quite understand why. But if you come back here later in the game, I don't remember what the actual trigger point is, but there is Nartakuno in here, I believe. And then you can find Zapdos and Moltres in other places, and it's just wild. So let's leave this nice place. Uh, oh, come on. I'm not bonking anything. We didn't talk to these guys. We didn't fight her either, I don't think. But let's talk to these guys. What do you have to say? All right, I'll take Amphrosite. What have you got, bro? Oh, you got a battle for me. We go. But it gets get annoying when you're trying, you're not even doing anything like offensive and the thing goes like, this is banned for content. And you're like, what? I ain't put, I ain't put anything in there. And it's like, you know, you're in that position where you can't argue. There's no like, you know, like but there should be a button that says like, I'm calling you out on your donkey dickness. Also, I missed a TM. I've got to go back and get a TM, I just realized. This is why I have a map hop. Skidoo, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. Don't worry, this game's gonna get significantly harder when we hit the everyone hits 36, because that's when they get fully evolved Pokemon. It'll be a Raichu and a Go Go. We're getting there, bro. We're getting there. You know that, that island we went to that was all the way over the other side, we're, we're kind of like almost away from here. This island that's here. Are you gonna fight us? No, apparently not. I didn't try to avoid it, you saw. This island that's over here, this little side entrance bullshit. Yeah, this one. Remember this? Forgot this TM. Wish I forgot it still. <laughs> Wish I forgot it still. Razor Wind, one of the worst moves in the game. It's like 
two turns to do a move that ain't even that strong. Why would you ever want this? Burn my repels, man. So yeah, we're done with this route. Back where we started the episode on. And we're back on Forage Road or whatever it's called. And we're about to head into Core Marine City, but you know what that means. Sorry, Sam. Callum, I challenge you to a battle in front of the gym. Prepare yourself. Please, you ain't beat me once. You know what I think her problem is, yeah? She keeps bragging about how great her parents are. She's like, huh, my parents are the best parents. Ah. Uh. Okay. Also, I think this guy sells the things, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, he's another randomized guy. Why are lanes about to which gym Stardust Houndomite? Bomber site. I want to actually collect these. These. We don't have a Houndoom and we don't have an Obama Snow, but if we do, we're still going out as a go, so if we do. I gotta move it back because I'm slouching. Oh, oh god. Oof. I, think I can't literally go back any more in my chair than this, so as far as it goes. Thanks to my new layout with this massive desk, so um, hopefully it doesn't provide too many issues. It just means that I can't move much, and it means that I'm flipping, I, like, I start like going down in the chair. Um, but no, I'm, I'm good, brother. I wonder if that means I should be going to all the other random places. Are you the rod guy? Yes, he is. I kind of vaguely remember this game. I can't believe this game is like 20... And this game's like 10 years old, isn't it? Isn't it like 2013? Am I wrong? Anyway. We gotta go across the railroad. Before we go across the railroad, we gotta play a little bit of a game up here. So there's a lady up here. Random TM quiz. If you give me the correct answer, I will give you a TM. Do you want to take the quiz? Yes. Here's a question. What move am I describing? The move prevents a target from using its health item. Now this might be a problem. No, it's not. It's embargo, right? Yeah. All right. Ooh, I'll take that. So those four answers she has, every day she'll have a different one. And because we've randomized the TMs, they're randomized. Um, All right, I've just realized I forgot there's two hidden items here. One by this guy here. That's kind of ironic, because this is the berry stand, and it's next to the berry stand, and up in the pier. There's an item up here as well. So I went up here, and I was like... Okay, we've got both the Charizard lights. Hope we get a Charizard at some point. We can mega evolve into what we want to, but I don't think we're going to. I do want a. F we do need a flying and a fire type. He would be uh, perfect. But I saw the hidden items for this side of the town. So you may be thinking, oh my god, is that all the town is? Yep. What does that look like to you? A cable car. Oh no, I've forgotten what her voice is. Why, hello, Kalim. Congratulations. Now you have finally obtained everything you need for Mega Evolution. A Mega Stone for your Pokemon and a Mega Ring for your trainer. Then the Strong Bomb with your Pokemon. Hold up a second. <laughs> yeah, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of am an idiot. So, I went to go watch the episode, I think it's three, where we first meet Dantha and Lissandre in the calf get her voice you see how the game's not doing anything right now that's because it's in pause mode but right next to the pause mode it says stop and I press stop which stops game uh, I didn't say so I should just play this whole episode again <laughs> to get here um, I've made sure that I've caught a Wobbuffet it's a female Wobbuffet I don't know if we got a female one last time it's a female Wobbuffet and apparently it's an incredibly rare goddamn encounter 
I encountered a ton of ton of Alekids. Uh, there was a couple of Conkeldas, Kingdras. Um, I even got a Qualava to appear. And a Horde Battle, which was a Mew, a Genesect, a Magmar, and a Crocodile, a Crocodile, and something else. Getting them to come up was a bitch. Bitch. Took me about 20 second encounters to get a Wobbuffet. It was mad. Mad. Because I pressed stop instead of pause. Anyway, we're back. And I think her voice is kind of posh ish woman. So, a strong bond. It is only a hypothesis, but I think the bond between Pokemon and Junior is a key to this uh, new evolution. But what is this bond exactly? Why are there samples of Mega Evolution only in the Kalo region? There is still much we don't know. Does it make you think of something that Kalos is legendary Pokemon? Found only here in the Kalos region, right? Nowhere else. Maybe that's not a coincidence. Oh, what an excellent point indeed. The more you know the story search, the excitement never ends, does he? Oh. That's right, I came here to give you this. Fly, boy. Let's have a fly, boy. Use the Asian fly to pop right over to the Pokemon centers of places you've already visited. Where's the Kalem? The answer, I hope to see you again soon. Man's off to go clap more cheeks. On, so they really that important to us, well, are they? When I'm acting, I think I'm always trying to forge a bond between myself and the character I'm playing. If I think about it, it's how I'm nothing like the character, then I, I hate playing it. But if I focus on what I have in common with the character, I put myself in her shoes and I might be able to understand her. It's the same for people or Pokemon. But never mind me, I'm just battling about my own things. Let's have a battle next time we meet, shall we? I'm looking forward to it. Oh boy. I ain't got time to play. I ain't got time to waste. Nah. I'm thinking of putting Therian form tornadoes on there. Also, a fun thing. I was looking back at my episode three and I realized that my fur fruit has changed form. I don't know when that happened. I don't know why that happened. But what I do know is that it was that like a sort of Egyptian form and that was just a plain fur fruit. I'd don't know why. Like, it's a regular fur fruit. Why ain't it got the, like, orangey, sort of like the Pokeball orangey color hair? What happened? Like, why did it change? Does that mean if I catch a Mega, it won't stay a Mega no more? I know in the OG version, if you said allow alternate forms and forms do not revert afterwards, it would just keep them in that form forever, which is like kind of a nice little bonus. You catch a Mega, you can have a Mega with a held item. It's even more busted. Like it's it is a busted thing, but then there's a chance you catch an Omega. So anyway, we're in the northern part of Cormoran City, so we're now going to the Pokemon Center and heal up. Because I think Thunder is Thunder is electric flying, or is he just electric? Probably should have paid attention to that. Who would we drop though? That becomes the question. Uh. Also, I named our Wobbuffet to knock back. Oh, it's holding the Aerodactylite. Okay, I've already got that, but I'll take it. It is electric flying. But the only person I would replace is Furfru. I kind of don't want to replace Furfru. Also, does that mean that this boy will change back from Therian form to regular Thunderous? Because he's got Volt Absorb. It's on the pole, though. I mean, he's on Tyranitar, right? But he may as well hold Tyranitar, right? He's the only one who can use it. He's a Tyranitar. Furfru? I mean, he's just a tank. He's just there to tank things. Look, 107 speed, 88 special defense, 68 defense, but the fur coat means he takes us. He takes half physical damage. So he may as well have 100 and. What's that? 68 is 120, 16, 136. He's got he's currently 136 defense, I guess. Guy's insane. I'm not going to put him on the team. I was thinking because he can have fly and he's electric type. Anyway, let's see what you got. X special defense, HP up and black flute. Wow. 
Uh, you kind of suck, bro. I sell some stuff. I don't know if I got anything to sell, but let's have a look. If you don't want it, sell it. Even if it's worth five dollar, sell it. Oh, I think we're done with all the stuff. No, I need to have pressure weakening. Yeah. Can we sell these? Oh yeah, we can't sell these no more. Oh, we can't sell them no more. Windows go for 500? I can make a couple of grand selling this stuff. So they're 50. I'm never gonna use these, why am I keeping them? No, mm, sorry with that. Why is I Papa only 50? If any of these are 500, I'm selling them right now. It's 250, it's 500. I mean, these are more for competitive. You would know what you're weak to and you'd put one of these berries on. Uh, Tango. See, it halves super effective bugs, so you put it on a psychic type in you know, proper combat. There really a couple thousand just sitting in there. Look, halves electric. You put it on Gyarados, he doesn't take four times damage, he takes two times damage, so you might live it. Give him a little bit of a surprise. Probably not, but I think that's what you're supposed to do with it. You're supposed to put it on like half a bug type on, I don't know, Alakazam or something, so it might live the, live the thing. But I, don't I don't know, man, I don't know. I don't take too long. Right. Thank you, please come again. All right, I'm gonna save just in case anything stupid goes wrong. We're not finished just yet. We're not finished just yet, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't even think about it, don't worry. There's a gym, do you remember what happens outside the gym? Cause I remember what happens outside the gym. Right. Do you give me an item? No, you just tell me nonsense. Right, before we do this, I forgot to get a hidden item. So if you do this. No, this is right, all good. All right. Oh no. Right, let's finish this. No, not like that. Not like that, you silly, you silly boy. You know what? Let's show her what it means to be a real G, yeah? Remember Serena came on the holocaust and said she'll change us outside the gym? I'm sorry I'm late. I see you show me the Mega Revolution? Of course, when you, you, whether you use the Mega Revolution or not in battle, it's entirely up to you, but I'd like to know what the potential of a Pokemon really is. Brrrr, 100 miles an hour trying to read. I've been stumbling over your words and sound like an idiot. Now this battle is kind of funny because she's like, She wants me to show her Mega Evolution and sends out a Mega Lucario. Okay. Okay, I was planning to send this out and just run house on her, but she's she's kind of ruining the party a bit, ain't she? Because she don't have Mega Evolution, remember? We are the successor. We got the ring from Corina. But the problem is, whilst that is true, Hopped. Oh, dirty. That was dirty, bro. Aura Sphere? I don't think we need bone. I'm getting rid of Bone Rush. 2590? Nah, bro. Aura Sphere. And someone's cooking psychic. Like it. it smells like garlic in here. Oh, I'm so hungry now. Show gone. Yeah, but it's like in this thing, she's like, please show me Mega Evolution, please. And you can just like body her entire team. Her entire team. I should still get the power up from that. I don't care. That's a bullshit thing. But, um, 
Yeah, you can go the whole battle without showing it to her, and she gets she's kind of upset. She's like, "Oh, I really wish you'd have showed me." They do the same thing in Sun and Moon when you first get your uh, your first Z crystal. Bring him out, bro. Bring out the Celebi. What's he gonna do? Plus two from a Mega Lucario who's eleven levels above you. Ooh, you kidding, man? Who you kidding? Pirelli is 41, Sir is 42. Someone says Sucker Punch. No. Sucker Punch is for suckers, man. Come on. Don't be teaching Sucker Punch at that higher level. No, sir. No, sir. I don't know why we have white squares on our cheeks. Even though we set off in Vanneville Town at the same time, you have somehow become stronger than I am. What could be so different about us? Well, good luck with your gym battle. Do your best, okay? Does she just have that music on like a Bluetooth speaker or something? Because it goes away when she leaves. <laughs> anyway, that is the end of the episode. <laughs> Hopefully you stayed and didn't get tricked out by me saving for no absolute reason. Uh, until that epic battle. <laughs> uh, the next episode, we'll be going in to see Lida Ramos uh, in this Cormarine City gym before heading into the Wastelands. So catch us next time for that. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.